I did a lot of laughing. And Quite an evil laugh, laugh, I think. I mean, um, it's yes, not, well, that's uh, that's very much mine. <laughs> <laughs>Hi all, it's Silas Ram, AsianCultureVulture.com. How are you doing? It's great to have your company. We talked to Nimbra Butcher, who's one of the stars of the new British film, Polite Society. This had its world premiere at the Sundance Film Festival, and it's written and directed by Nida Mansour, who made the hit TV show, We Are Lady Park. Nimra plays the character of Rahila, who's a bit of a villain. You may have seen her in True Rails, and in Miss Marvel, and now she's in Polite Society. Let's go and find out more. Thank you so much, Silas. I'm very, very happy to be here. I'm doing great. Thank great. you. And where are you? I'm in London at the moment. Oh, Can you, okay. Can't you tell? Uh, I wasn't. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, now, now I noticed you're wearing a big coat. Yeah. Of course. Anyway, so tell us how, how did you come to play the part of Rahila? Was it an audition process? Yes, it was an audition process. Yes, I was sent the script by my agent in the UK, um, and uh, this part, and my husband and I. So he's my audition buddy. Um, he does my self tapes with me, and you know, there's that the waxing scene. Okay. All right. Yeah. So yeah. So that was one of the scenes that we had to audition. Um, and my husband was playing Priya's. Uh, right. <laughs> Priya's voice. I will strike down you or anyone else who tries to get in my way. When you got the part and you read the script, obviously, what did you think? What was your first impression of Rahila? My first impression was that I thought the script was gold. I thought it was gold. I thought it was going to be go down really well um and so i immediately wanted to do this ro- role and i thought that that was i mean it was it was a really meaty fantastic role and like any other actor i then started to you know sort of kneel down and pray to god that i get the part <laughs> and uh, we didn't find out i think for so so then we first did sent the self tape and then i had an audition uh, where nida um was there wow. and you know she, sort of walked me through some scenes and we did those and then I didn't know um, whether I was going to get the part or not so I think oh, that right. I must have reminded them a few times about whether you know like oh I need some I need to make some travel plans am I yeah dropping yeah, something yeah, yeah. in there yeah. uh, no, yes, yes, no, yes. no. you little bitch so to make um, make the character I think you know a few things were very important about Rahila she was quite um sophisticated in a way quite finished you know like a very sort of very well put together and i'm not like that at all you know <laughs> right. um, that's not nimra that's raila so i think i had a lot of help with that with with nida how she should be how she should walk what she wouldn't do you know it's always like what the actor what the character wouldn't do that's very helpful right. okay. when you're playing a part <laughs> I just did whatever Nida told me to do and yeah, then right. I did a lot of laughing that was something that you know I had to do a lot of and then quite the evil laugh thing. I think I mean um, it's yes, not well, that's that's laugh. very much mine <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think uh, well I'm not sure that that's you but anyway um. <laughs> but also the physical the physical stuff was very challenging but also I really wanted to do it so we trained for m- more than a month uh mm-hmm. Right. Yes, with uh, with Rob Locke. He's a martial arts instructor, and he wrote all those parts. And he's okay. the nicest, gentlest person who writes horrible, cruel things. Um, and that's you find that in most, you know, stunt teams, they are yeah. the nicest people on any film set. I don't know how that works. I got on wires for polite society because Nida wanted that one mm. thing, right. which you know people wow. will see when they see the film. Yeah, yeah. So she said. She wanted me to try it. Would I try it? Could I try it? And and I was like, yes, I've not oh, done wow. it. I try it. So tell us a little bit more about Rahila and the, her character, because I think she's a very recognizable kind of Asian woman, Asian auntie, you know, mother type figure uh, for people like myself, I think. For me, she was not recognizable. I thought she was right. really out there. I mean, she was really really crazy um and <laughs> i i think i i don't know any people like that you know so I okay know. well i was thinking more that she's very amb- she's obviously very ambitious for her her son and she's this very proud mother who just has a very clear idea of what she wants for her family and especially her son yes yes i think i think that's what probably started the 
the stereotype of the of the cruel evil um, <laughs> sas mother in law because you know yeah. i actually don't know very many mother in law sure. mothers in law who are like that but i know that there are mothers in law who are um, very very protective of their sons definitely and you know they don't let their sons grow up so i think that is a that is a common malaise in among our south asian families i feel like you know we push our children to be very good academically and we like push yes. them to be you know to like go out there and conquer the world but we don't like yes. teach them to pick up their socks and their underwear off the floor you know they don't know how to do that mom what are you doing oh how easy or difficult was it work, working with a young uh, a young director who obviously this is her first feature film how how does that for somebody who's you know being uh, has a lot of a lot of experience of being in different types of productions and you kind of let her kind of do the thing or, or how did that oh no 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 you don't let you don't let her do nida is i mean she's she's super super good at what she does and i am um every project that i start there is nothing that i know you know okay. of what's going to happen so for me i'm supremely underconfident and nida is very very good at what she does so i mean there was no question of like me telling her anything i think it's <laughs> it all it all came from her for sure no. well you're great in the movie and obviously the reviews have been very uh, you know positive and have uh, noticed your character is it easier to play a villain then even though this is a, obviously a woman villain character i don't But know I if think... you've done that before <laughs> it's kind of empowering to play um angry characters uh because you do get to say and do a lot of things that in you know real life and in polite society um uh, you're not able to i think i think that's what i also found that rahila uh, the character had done all her life that she sort of went through life being a nice person or you know doing all the right things and uh and this is her kind of way of kind of letting go and you can do that you can't do that in real life i wouldn't advise it um so <laughs> so yeah so as a, as a villain you get to do those things which are not allowed and right. which is great we are going to show lena who these people really are i mean it looks like you had a lot of fun doing it i but... did i did i really did it was yeah. great wow. yeah um maybe there'll be a polite society too and she might re- i can't remember what happened with it she, with yeah that. i i i can't i can't really say can i <laughs> no, we should yes we'll have to keep that between ourselves but thank you so much for for joining asian culture vulture today and i wish you all the best with the uh, work in the future thank you thank you so much thank Thanks. you silish we the care. best too all thank the best you. yeah thank you Bye.